Hello, this is Karen Swanberg, uh, formerly of Howling Moose Gardens, and now of Swanberg & Con Aquaponics, an aquaponics greenhouse in Minneapolis, or actually in Hugo, Minnesota, just outside the, the Twin Cities. This, I believe, is the third update and tour, and this is just to give an overview of what I've been up to for the last couple of months. So, the first greenhouse with four troughs is almost done. Um, now we're mostly just planting it out and doing a few final cosmetic things. But we have four troughs up and running. We have the aeration running. Tonight we'll be getting some yellow perch for our fish, and we should be ready to go. We have the aeration going. The aeration is held down by gravel bags, but as you can see that that one has fallen off. Here's the end of the trough where the aeration comes in. Each of the two inch aeration pipes has a ball valve on it so we can control how much air goes into each trough. Each trough at the end has a stand pipe so we can control how high the water is in the trough. This is just to keep the raft from going over the standpipe. Our air comes in from over here. This is our aeration table. This is a Sweetwater air compressor. I think it's an S21. It's hooked up to a manifold which has room for three different air compressors. We have two fish tanks on the first greenhouse. Right now we only have one lonely goldfish. I, he's down there underneath. You can't even see him. And then through the wall, down there, into the trough. Here are our gravel filter beds. I have two of them, again with ball valves to control how much water gets in and out. There are stand pipes. I, and I don't really have much of a stand pipe in there now because the water is so fast that it stays pretty high even without a stand pipe. Here's my sump tank. Sump tanks aren't really all that standard for setups like this, but the water takes a while to even out through the system, and so anything, any unevenness uh, gets evened out in the sump tank. And then this is a sweet water pump. That takes the water through and up and over and down to the the, ugh, the fish tanks. This is one of our seedling tables. It's set to run for an hour every day. I'm planting the seedlings in gravel. This is a vitamin green. Here I'm using one inch insulation and so when the water fills up this will float and that will leave room in the bottom for the roots. Vitamin greens, some oak leaf lettuce, some topsoy, some claytonia or miner's lettuce, etc., etc. There's another seedling table over here. We need a couple more at least in order to fill up our troughs, um, but we're, we're working on those. Lots and lots of workspace in here. Things are a bit of a jumble as we get everything going. Some dirt to fill in some holes. Here we are making rafts. It seems like the raft process never ends. The rafts, of course, are two inch insulation, which we then drill holes in. And then we paint them. Takes forever. 
This is our second greenhouse, which we haven't worked on in a while, but it's in progress. Some, this greenhouse will have four more troughs. And another sump hole. That's about three feet deep. I know you can't really tell. The troughs have the Duraskrim liner in it. And then the Duraskrim liner is held on by this lath. It's one inch by half inch wood that has a screw about every six, four, four to six inches or so. This is the lad. I just buy it at Home Depot or Lowe's for about seven or eight dollars for a bundle of 50 of them. Then we paint those and go from there. This is the pile of dirt from the sump tank hole. We're using it to fill in. Tonight we should be getting some yellow perch. I think I'd be getting 200 of them so we can actually get started on all this and actually get our growth going. So again, an overview. Thank you very much.